Morning guys, so pretty excited. Finally hitting the road, on our way out to the Cadman area, south of Hinton. Um, first weekend of camping, uh, 2021. So I've got everything all loaded up in here, and uh, I'm gonna drive on out there, hit some trails. I'm gonna go out to the Ruby Falls area. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to get on the trail yet. Andrew and I aren't real, what you'd call, hardcore rock crawlers or you know, anything like that. We, uh, uh, yeah, we just like to find some good trails and get up into the mountains. Believe it or not, this really bumpy road I'm on right now is a main highway around Edmonton. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Uh, the hen day. Anyways, uh, just getting out of the city and uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated as the trail goes by. Andrew's place heading north on Highway 60 and we're just about to get onto the Yellowhead and head out west. Uh, from there we're going to be heading to I believe Edson and then Edson will be getting onto Highway 40 something. I'll update it a bit. And uh, yeah, we'll be heading south from Edson down into the Cadman area. city before you hit Jasper Park. Uh, we're going to be turning on the other side of this town and then uh, yeah, we'll be hitting the dirt roads. Okay, well, I've been following Google Maps and uh, it says that the way to go is this way. No one's driven up here for a while, so I'm gonna break some trail and see where it goes. We got winches.
unfortunately we had to turn around. This ooh, that's worth fun. The snow got a little bit deep up there and I don't have lockers. So as you saw, we got to use Andrew's winch, pulled me out again. Uh, coming down, we ran into a group of people in a gladiator. Told them about the trail conditions and uh, they turned around and they're trying to get to the same place we are. So they're gonna follow us. tracks leading into the spot we wanted to go. Just hope we can get in and out of here. <laughs> okay. After this trip, I'm going to have to go through everything and tighten it all up again. <laughs> here that's awesome back up a little bit there, that feels about level <laughs> little creek going on here it's finally starting to melt through here we got the Jeeps just kind of put the awning between them for the night we'll have something down on the ground there a mat down there that we can walk on and yeah show you the inside of mine here so I got my bed set up on top here. The diesel air heater is going off to the side there. And I got my little window vents in place. So it's sitting at a nice 20 degrees inside. I'm gonna have to turn that down for sure. Over here, we have Andrew's Jeep. He's got his bed set up inside there. Uh, what kind of mattress do you use? Inflatable or foam? No, foam like what you have. Oh yeah, nice. Holding. Yeah. You got your headlamps, little fan in the back. Nice. 
He's also got a diesel air heater going in his. He's got his detachable muffler down there. Used a, uh, what is that called again? You said it's from a boat. It's for a diesel exhaust for, for a boat. Okay. For a bulkhead. Bulkhead, that's it. Yeah, really good idea, smart. Got a little cooking area set up. Over here we got the fire. We just used the fire pit that was already here. Chopped up some more wood. Here we have our guard dog Semi. And Emma. The deaf old bulldog. Yeah, she's, she's, she's 14. 14 years old and she's here for moral support. <laughs> Does her own thing. Yeah, so. Yeah, we're going to get ready to cook some dinner soon. Both pretty hungry after the trip. started now got some bacon wrapped filet mignon on the skewers being smoked over the fire oh this is gonna be good Let's start making the salad soon thanks for bringing the steaks drew yeah hey. cheers about 6 30 this morning i uh, got the fire going again made some coffee andrew he's making some breakfast over there got some hash browns and eggs and stuff cooking beautiful morning out here it's probably around minus 10 or so but with those diesel heaters going in the jeeps uh yeah pretty comfy night so yeah we're gonna get all packed up continue on down the road and see what else is out here
6.7 design did a pretty good job with the magnetic cell phone mount. Like this isn't even the bumpiest part and it's only fallen off once. And that was uh, a bump that was hard enough to jar your teeth loose. Feel it in the kidneys. <laughs> They're pretty good. As you can see we're back in Edmonton it was a pretty good trip had a lot of fun found some really good trails can't wait to get back out there and there's less snow a little less mud and hopefully we can get all the way around the Cadman ring road there thanks a lot for coming with us on this little adventure and hopefully we see you guys out on the trail